So this is a Fire Angel um, smoke alarm. It's the uh, ST620. I've had a few of these and I'm also slightly disappointed in them. Now this one is uh, five years old now. It's just it's actually just bang on five years. They're supposed to last for seven. At least this one was advertised for seven. I think the new versions of these, they, they claim 10 years. Um, it's still on the back here, June 20. 26 and it's now 2021 so in theory it's got another five years to run or at least that's the uh, maximum that they recommend it uh, should be replaced by um so but yeah I mean, it started to squeak the usual sort of chirp saying there's a low battery um but they say i had another one similar sort of age to this one and it started doing the same thing and i took it off because when you disconnect it from the um, the ceiling holder, it powers off the, the device. There's, there's a switch in one of these springy connectors, which um, disables it when it's not attached to the ceiling. Anyway, if, if you kind of reboot it in effect, by disconnecting it, it turns off, reconnects it, it turns back on, it seems to last for another year. So that's a bit weird. Um, this one, I've tried that, and it's still chirping. So... Basically, it's failed after five years. The the guarantee, the warranty period is, is five years. So you know, those advertisers a seven year life and maybe a 10 year life on the newer ones. This one's just about scraped through its um, warranty period. So yes, yeah, so I'm disappointed. I thought I'd just take it apart. I, I'm assuming that it's probably um, ultrasonically welded together. So it might be a bit destructive, but uh, I might as well give it a go. There's some sort of recesses here, there's one on each quarter. I don't know if that's going to be a way in, whether it's a clip or whether it's actually... Actually, yeah, maybe it is a clip. Maybe it's not welded. Oh, that's quite promising, actually. too soon. Oh no, there we go. I don't know what technology these are, whether they're um, radioactive. I don't think they are, I think they're optical. Let's sound it somewhere. We'll no doubt find out inside. Now if this comes apart, I'm going to go and just change the battery. Assuming it's a replaceable battery. Oh, there we go, yeah. It's a CR123 box of it. It's um, welded in, but, but yeah, CR, it says 17335. Looks like a 123. And this is, I just happen to have. Oh, it is smaller. Is it? No, I don't know. Does look to be the same to me. Strange. It's supposed to be three volts. And sure enough, it says three volts on it. Never heard of Eve. So yeah, I could replace that. I think. So how does this work? That obviously. The test button, oh, there's a tactile switch there. It's obviously where the uh, test button presses. I think, where does that go? Let's just hold it in place, I think. Stop it rotating, perhaps. Um, and yeah, sure enough, there's the switch on the uh, sort of bayonet attachment to the ceiling. So when that is which way does it work? When that's engaged on the ceiling, it turns it on. It's looking as if it's doing the opposite. It only lifts that spring. It seems to open a contact rather than close one. Anyway, that's obviously what um, switches it when you connect it to the ceiling holder. A little diode there for some reason. 
the capacitors. It's actually quite a sophisticated circuit, isn't it? Yeah. So I looked that up, 17335. So it looks pretty much identical to a, these are to the CR. Um, this, sorry, yeah, these are CR1640, um, I think, is the alternative uh, designation as opposed to, oh, yeah, 16340. That's the sort of standard designation for these rather than the CR123, which is. Goodness knows where that come from. So in theory, this should be a millimetre bigger. Is that right? 16.52. And these CR123s are 16.53, so it's the same. They're very curious. Anyway, it looks like I could put a three volt battery in there. I don't know if it needs to be that particular type. Um, I could do that and keep this going for another 10 years, probably. So I might well do that. I can just solder the terminals on. And that should be fine. Oh well, so it looks as if these um, sealed for life ST 620 Fire Angel alarms. They are quite easy to open, and uh, it's not difficult to change the battery either. So that's good, rather than just chucking the whole thing away. Okay, thanks for watching. <coughs>